Hi, my name is Bill and I'm a radio control enthusiast, hobbyist and reviewer and I share videos, reviews, advice, modifications and tips. Okay, I recently did a test between iOS and Android and I used a Samsung A71 Android phone and I got an FPV range of 500 meters when I stopped at limits of line of sight. Now I'm going to try it with this HTC One M8 Android phone that is a much lower spec and see if what range we get on an Android phone which was better than an iOS phone um, but on a lower older phone so all ready to go I'm going to start recording video Fly. and take off Right, make sure it's holding steady it is I'm going to take it up to over 30 meters so let me take it up sorry wrong way Okay, there I am at 34 meters and I'm going to push ahead. Going ahead but very slowly. Still got FPV, let me push ahead. Fifty meters, still got FPV. Just over 75 meters, have I still got FPV? No, I've lost FPV. I know, I've still got FPV. Okay, although it froze a bit. Okay, I'm still going to push ahead. Okay, there I'm over 100 meters, just going to check if I've still got FPV. Yes, I've still got FPV. Push ahead. Okay, the distance is not going up. Let me see if I've still got FPV in connection. Okay, the distance is going up again. So there's a bit of lag, but and it's freezing a little bit, but I've still got FPV. Now, very slow to respond here. Okay, I'm going to push ahead again. There, at 150, over 150 meters. Just check for FPV again.
Okay, no. Okay, I've lost FPV at 150 meters. So with an Android, older Android phone, we're not going to get the range. So the phone makes a big difference on the Wi-Fi FPV range, particularly 5G. And this is running Android 6. But someone said they couldn't get more than 30 meters on a phone of similar spec. But yeah, I'd say 150 meters on a phone of an older specification. Let's just double check again. Now I've definitely lost FPV, so I'm going to bring it back. So using the same drone at the same location in the same or very similar conditions. This HTC One M8 Android 6 reached 150 meters. This iPhone 8 Plus reached 340 meters. And the Samsung Galaxy A71 reached 500 meters. And I stopped at limit of line of sight. And I think it could have gone a lot further. So a lot of people try and modify antennas. But it's the phone that receives the Wi-Fi signal. So it's the phone that makes a big difference on the Wi-Fi FPV range that you can attain. So please subscribe, like, comment and share if you like my videos.